Hi guys, Jay here from BornToBlues.com and I just wanted to share this very quick video with you. It's just a little problem I ran into, so I thought I might as well share it with you. So I was just creating a riser effect in Retrolog and I noticed there's a couple of ways to do it and one way is much, much better than the other unless I'm missing something. So the way I would normally do this is put in a couple of MIDI notes, one overlapping the other and create a glide a slow glide in Retrolog, so you can go from one note to the other. So just setting up the glide here with glide time on maximum, and this is the result you get. So it does glide up slowly, but it initially glides up quite quickly. which is a bit annoying, so the, the notes are two octaves apart, by the way. So unless I'm missing something here, I've tried all the different controls up here, mono, re-trigger, glide, fingered, voice trigger. I've looked in the manual and I've tried all of these and none of them seem to make any difference to what I want to do. So if, if I'm missing something, then please put a note in the comments as to why this isn't working particularly well. Anyway, I've come up with a different way to do it, and that is to use pitch bend. So pitch bend information down here and only use one note, starting at A2. But the key to this is you cannot pitch bend very much unless you go and change your pitch bend parameters here. This is normally on minus three, plus three, so you need to get a pitch bend of three semitones, down or up, and obviously that's really intended to be used with your pitch bend wheel. But if you change it to plus 24, minus 24, you'll get a plus two octave and minus two octave range which means a four octave range and then if you just get your parabola or parabola line which is the curved line draw in this is the center line here so if you draw in right from the bottom right the way to the top with your parabola line you'll then get a four octave rise and it sounds pretty good it sounds like this Now it's still not quite as smooth as I would like it on the second half. It's still you still get a bit of sort of do 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 do. But it's pretty good. It's pretty pretty good. And you don't seem to get the uh the nodules on the side where you can, you know, change the shape of this and make it a bit smoother. And the only other options up here are line sine, triangle, square, and paint. So again, if you know how to make this even smoother than that, then let me know in the comments. But I hope that's been helpful for you, for all you guys wishing to do FX risers. One note, change your pitch bend in your retrolog and just draw in a curved line. That's what works for me. So if you want more quick tips and helpful videos, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. All the best guys, bye bye.